Hello everyone, I am Navid Ahmad. Today we are discussing about digestive gland. Let's start with the introduction. The glands associated with the alimentary canal and help in the digestion of the food materials are called as digestive glands. It means the glands which are associated with the digestive system are known as digestive glands. They are also known as associated gland because they are associated with the alimentary canal. So the salivary gland, liver and the pancreas are the important digestive glands. The first one is salivary glands. The digestive gland that secretes saliva are known as salivary gland. These are located in the oral cavity. In humans, there are three pair of salivary glands. They are parotid glands, sublingual glands and submaxillary or submandibular gland. In this picture, we observe the different types of salivary gland in the different region of the oral cavity. The first one is parotid glands. They are located and present just below and in front of the ear. Second one is sublingual glands. They are found below the tongue and the floor of the mouth. And the third one is submandibular gland or they are also known as submaxillary glands. They lie below the angles of the lower jaw bone. All these glands secrete saliva which reaches the oral cavity through their salivary duct. The saliva is a clear watery fluid. The man secrete about 1.5 liters of saliva per day. It is slightly alkaline and contain 99.5% of water and 0.5% of residual substances which include digestive enzymes, mucin, electrolytes, inorganic salts. Saliva in man contain a starch digesting enzyme known as salivary amylase and an antimicrobial agent known as lysozyme. Saliva contains electrolytes like sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate which are derived from the blood plasma, mucus and the serous fluid. Liver Liver is the largest gland in the human body. It weighs about 1.2 to 1.5 kg in adult. It has a dark chocolate color. It is located in the right upper part of the abdomen just below the diaphragm. It is bilobed gland with a small left lobe and large right lobe. The lobules are the structural and functional unit of liver. Lobule is enclosed in a capsule known as glycine capsule. So cells of the liver are known as hepatic cells. A duct arises from the hepatic cells are known as hepatic duct. A small sac like structure present near the liver are known as gallbladder. So a duct arises from the gallbladder are known as cystic duct. The cystic duct and the hepatic duct fuse to form the common bile duct. Each lobule composed of hepatic cells, Kupffer cells and blood filled spaces called as sinusoids. Hepatic cells secrete bile and the Kupffer cells uh, digest the bacteria, foreign particles, damaged blood cells. Secretions of the liver is called bile which is alkaline watery greenish fluid and it contains bile pigments, cholesterols, mucin, phospholipids, bile salts and water. Two types of bile pigments are present. The first one is Biliverdin and second one is bilirubin. Biliverdin is a green pigment and bilirubin is a reddish yellow pigment. There are no enzymes present in the bile. Pancreas It is an elongated digestive gland found in the bend of the duodenum lobe. It is the largest second gland in the human body which is 12 to 15 cm in length and has a reddish brown color. The pancreatic juice is the secretion of pancreas. It is a clear watery alkaline fluid rich in enzymes, 
for digesting the starch, lipid, proteins and the nucleic acids. It is released into the pancreatic duct, the duct which joins the common bile duct to form the hepatopancreatic duct. It opens into the duodenal lobe. The pancreas has two portion, endocrine and the exocrine part. The exocrine part is made up of glandular chamber called acini or alveoli which secrete the alkaline pancreatic juice containing the enzymes. The endocrine part made up of a scattered patches of cells called as islets of Langerhans which secretes a hormone called insulin and the glucagon. It is composed of three important cells known as alpha cells beta cells and the delta cells. Alpha cell secrete glucagon, beta cell secrete insulin and the delta cell secretes somatostatin. Here we observe the structure of the pancreas which is present at the loop of the duodenum. So it has three important parts head, body and the tail. At the middle we observe the pancreatic ducts. So this is the structure of the pancreas. The last one is the intestinal glands. The intestinal glands are two types, crypts of Leberkun and the burner gland. So the crypts of Leberkun, they are the invaginations of the mucosa of the small intestine between the villi and they are open at the base of the villi. So they have three important types of secreting cells. They are goblet cells, panic cells and enterocyst. The goblet cell secrete mucus, the panic cell secretes a digestive enzymes and the enterocyst secretes water and the electrolytes. So in the picture we observe the positions of the different types of intestinal cells of the crypts of Leberkun. And the other intestinal gland is the burner gland. It's a tubular gland found in the submucosa of the duodenum. They secrete a viscous enzyme, alkaline watery fluid called mucoid fluid, which helps in the duodenum to stand off acidic chyme that entering from the stomach until it neutralized by the alkaline pancreatic juice and the bile. So in this picture we observe the burner's glands. 